welcome to my channel in today's video. If you're wondering why I look like a naked mole rat right now, um, literally and literally, it's because it's approximately a bajillion degrees in the house and I'm in my roommate's room right now. Um, thanks Maddie for letting me use your mirror because uh, she's the only one who has an AC unit and uh, I I will die without one right now. So anyways, I just wanted to show you how I like to get ready if I'm going out. And when I say I'm going out, I mean like to the club. Like to be dancing, to be all freaky deaky. Well, not really freaky deaky. That didn't really go the way I was planning. But anyways, if you want to learn basically how to get from this to this, then you are in the right spot because that's exactly what I'm going to show you. Minus the hair. I mean, there's nothing really special going on. I just sort of took a one inch barrel and did some loose waves just so that it didn't look like it was up all day. And uh, that's it. Not all of my going out looks are dark and smoky. It's just a matter of I love to have a little bit of sparkle. That way when you're under the lights, it just hits it perfectly and you're looking all glamorous and whatever. So this is, this is it. I hope you enjoy it and that is all. I'm starting off with the shade Sugar Cane in the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette on an M514 Morphe brush. This is just a really tiny natural blending brush that I am using to apply that first transition color all over the crease. And when I say all over, I mean from inner corner to outer corner. I did want to wing the shape out, but I wanted to bring it in as well. So I'm just going to go into the shade next to it cake mix which is just sort of like its bigger sister a little bit deeper and deepen up the crease get that nice color gradient going get a little bit of an ombre effect because I want this smoky eye to blend really well the next shade I'm going into is this O positive which on camera it looks a little bit cooler than it actually is it's more of a muted lavender I would say it's not as gray as it seems on camera so that is just the next step in the color gradient still winging it out a little bit swirling it around before taking this next deepest shade for the crease today intravenous which is a really warm brown tone I'm keeping this nice and low and focusing it on the inner and outer corner with that m514 before switching to an m507 a smaller tapered blending brush which allows me to pack on the shade a little bit heavier in those inner and outer corners that way I can blend from there I like doing this because then you have the packed pigment where you want it to be you get control of where you want the eyeshadow to be and then you get the freedom to blend with whatever brush you choose so after I used that I switched over to the it cosmetics number 203 synthetic fluffy brush and this is what I use in the final step of a blending situation when I really just want everything to mold together perfectly to top off the lid, I'm using the Desi and Katie's collab with Dose of Colors and the shade Turboson, which is a really nice purple shade with a sort of blue reflect. It kind of reminds me of like an oil slick. It reflects really, really nicely under the lights, which is primarily why I used it. Anytime I go out to the club, I really like to have something sparkly on my lid because then it catches the lights, just like I said in the intro. So after I apply with my finger, I do take a little brush just to sort of blend out the edges. I'm going to line my eyes and do a small wing. Well, I guess skinny, not small. I'm using the NYC liquid liner, and I do need to get a new one. It's all goopy and chunky, and it's been bitten by Bowser, and there's like a dried eyelash glue on it. Anyways, I added some, what are these, Ardell Demi Wispies, and a little bit of L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I wanted to use a different pair of lashes, but couldn't find them, so, you know, these do the trick. They look very natural, if you will, just sort of like eyelash extensions. Nothing too dramatic. For foundation, I'm using the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear in the shade 210 Buff, which is my normal shade. I like to use 220 when I am tan. So I'm going to apply that with a foundation brush first and then blend it out with a beauty blender. I like to use this method because that way I feel like I'm not soaking up a random amount of product on the beauty blender. I just feel like it kind of distributes better, doesn't look as cakey, you use less product, etc. For a little bit of glow beneath my highlighter, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Do You Coconut Drops. And I'm applying those with my beauty blender on the tops of my cheekbones. I don't know why I just got out of breath for some reason. Oh, but anyways, that's basically the base layer of what I'm going to be doing before I add my con not contour, my 
what is this concealer whoa totally just had a brain fart and then same beauty blender blending that out i did use a little bit too much so it goes under my eyes on my chin on my forehead sort of just distributing the product evenly and then once i'm done blending out my concealer that's when i'll go in with my bronzer this is the fancy beauty mocha matchsticks and i just like to apply this in the cheek area kind of you know where the what is that called the hollows of your cheek starting pretty much at the top of your ear and going towards the corner of your mouth in that general vicinity buffing that out with a real techniques buffing brush once i blended out the um wow i totally just i'm forgetting the words again today what is this bronzer i am struggling <laughs> once i blended it out i also took my beauty blender to make sure it wasn't too far down or muddy anything like that the beauty blender is just my second step of success if you will for blush i'm using the l'oreal true match blush in the shade innocent flush on a real techniques blush brush i like these blushes all of the shades because they have a really nice sheen to them they're not just matte but they're not shimmery either i don't know they just have a really nice sort of satin finish which is really really beautiful after blush that's when i will go in with a little bit of highlighter i'm taking the ColourPop lunch money first which is sort of a beigey gold and i'm applying that with my fingertips but then i was like you know i need something more than this so i did go ahead blend that out did my little thing you want to make sure you really blend it out nicely because when you use your fingers sometimes it's hard to get a really good blend and then on top of that i'm using the shade flexitarian flexitarian is a brighter sort of whiter gold and i'm just popping that right on the top of the cheekbone right on top of lunch money just to get that really really nice shine from that angle next i'm going to set my face using the charlotte tilbury flawless finish airbrush powder in the shade one it's the lightest shade i think and i'm taking that on an real techniques contour brush and i'm going to set my under eyes with that as well as my chin kind of by my smile lines area and uh, a little bit on my forehead i i did that as well I'm not sure if it was a combination of whatever I wore, if it was like the setting powder, if it was the setting spray, but my makeup held up really well and I was dancing super hard, so it was awesome. I'm just smudging out the same Turbo Sound shade on my lower lash line on a Vintage Cosmetics number or step three brush. I just wanted to, you know, get real smoky, but I'm not ready to put anything in my waterline yet. I'm still a little sensitive in my eyes and I don't like to do too much. I'm using Flexitarian on a tiny little e.l.f. concealer brush as my inner corner highlight and then using the same mascara, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, on my lower lashes. I'm kind of into lower lash mascara. Um, I guess that's really dumb to say. Like, I wish I had lower lash falsies because I think they're super cute. To finish off my eyebrows, um, I actually started with the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Pencil, and I'm going in with the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. This is in the shade Soft Brown. It's just really nice and um, gives my brows a little bit more color. I'm setting that with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, though. I feel like the Clear Brow Gel really just sets it into place. I do like the Maybelline one for giving me more of a fluffy look, though. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is the spray that I specifically use when I'm going out. I haven't really tried any other sprays, so I'm not really sure like if my, I guess, assumptions are true that this one is the best for going out. But let me tell you, I was sweating. I was dancing. I think the key when you're going out is just to not wipe your face. If you have to dab your sweat, take a paper towel and press it against your skin instead of like wiping with your hands. For my lipstick, I'm using the Maybelline lipstick in the shade Beige Babe. This is one of their matte formulas, and it's a really, really nice nude on me. But for some reason, I was like, okay, wait, this is actually, like, super nude. And I don't know <laughs> if I just, like, am blind, but I can't see my lips. So I went in with the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner in the shade Lolita. It's just a little bit darker, a few shades darker than the Beige Babe. So I thought it would be the perfect contrast at the edge of my lips to really make them pop. So I did use this to sort of overline my lips. And then I went back over with Beige Babe, uh, mostly because I didn't want to look like I came straight from the 90s and had just lip liner chilling. <laughs> 
but that's kind of what I was going for. I, I, my blind self. I couldn't see if I did too much, so that's why I snuck up on the camera right there. But that is the look, and it stayed really well. Like I said, I was feeling myself all night long, and it was a whole lot of fun. <laughs> I should do more of these. I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later. Bye.